So today we're going to be looking at some of the Aruba support that was uh, in IMC and has been actually for a while. So for those of you who don't know this and have been hiding under a rock, HP bought Aruba. So that acquisition has happened and um, as it were, Aruba was already a supported vendor within IMC. So this is part of the third party, previously third party management. Um, so that means that you're going to be able to back up configurations. You're going to be able to do kind of all that discovery, find the devices, see what's going on. And what's really nice is that the wireless is covered as well. So this isn't going to be to the same degree that the the original HP products, like the Unified Wire and Wireless and the HP MSM, may have been covered. But uh, more than likely, we're going to see that grow in the coming months now that this is actually an HP-owned company. Let's take a look at what's available today. So here we are on the IMC homepage. So if this doesn't look like yours, then you're probably behind on patches. So this new hot page was actually introduced in the um, EO303 P06 patch, and it's there. So what's nice is we've also got an, an Aruba-specific um, widgets that I've set up here, right? So this is all new wireless stuff, and this is all managing a Aruba, and I've actually got an, a legacy um, HP Unified Wire and Wireless, which is still a great product, right? Still around. Um, and you can see here that I've got a couple of clients connected to Aruba. That's my SSID clients. I've got a bunch of other information here, client distribution, number of fit APs, total APs by client. So a lot of good information here. This is kind of the dashboard uh, view of just the general health of your network. So we can go in and we can actually dig into a specific device here. So if I go on to, I've got an, a, uh, a slightly elderly Aruba 3600 controller that I was able to scrounge up just to take a look at actually what is available here within this integration. So here we are on the Aruba, the details page for this individual resource, which is an Aruba 3600 controller running version 6422, which we can see there in the system description, right? So that's good. Um, but what else can we actually look around and see here? Well, beyond general SNMP, we want to, of course, make sure that we've got configuration management. So let's go take a look at that. So on the resource page, we've got all the, the typical stuff, and then we've got this configuration management tab. So we'll click on that, and we're going to go in here and take a look. So you can see here we've got a bunch of information. We've got um, the backup period, so that is going to be handled by the system default. We've also got the latest startup and latest running. So this is really just going to be treated just like any other device that's available within IMC. Right? If we want to go, we can go click on the latest running configuration here, and we're going to get a pop-up window. And there we are. We've got the Aruba 3600, and if we really want to, we can scroll down here and look at the plain text configuration, right? So this means that this is now also going to be able to be handled by the Compliance Center, which is a really nice if you're doing things like trying to figure out if your SNMP strings are not system defaults for the entire system, right? That's a good thing. And of course, there's a bunch of other information in here as well. We've got the wireless service information, which we're going to be able to click on and look at. We've got device management. With that, we've got system information, which we're going to be able to go in and take a look at the address translation table. Um, we'll look at the TCP connection table, so we can kind of look at some of this information, you know, what's actually available within the device, which is nice to have. We can go up here and click on the wireless service information. So if, if you've got WSM, this will be available, right? Show you some global parameters about it, um, all the usual performance stuff. So all that is covered. So from the specific resource page, we've got some of that wireless information in here. We've got, for instance, number of online um, fit APs. So mine, I've only got one. I've got a couple of clients online, but we've also got on the right-hand side the wireless service tab, which we can go into and look at some different you know, group configuration, WLAN policy, that kind of stuff. So if I was to click on the, the radio here, the fit AP, this will automatically filter out to just the list of APs that are assigned to this particular controller. And then I can go in and look at total number of clients, and I can take a look at the clients that are assigned to this particular controller. I've then got some information around the IP address of the client, the MAC address of the client, the channel, um, the receive rate, the tr total traffic, online detection. I can actually go in and monitor this specific client and start doing a real-time monitor to see some of the you know, reception trans um, transmission speeds in real-time, signal noise, all that, which is kind of a nice... Um, ability to have that. Of course, I could go into the Aruba, uh, the actual controller interface, and get a lot deeper information, but it's nice to have this right within the um, IMC as well. 
So one of the other things that's really nice about having this as a, the, the wired and wireless built in, um, which has always been available on the traditional HP platforms, but is also now available on with the Aruba, is the AP access port feature. So this will actually track where the access points are in your um, network and be able to figure out, you know, this Aruba access point in particular here is going to be plugged into a specific access port of a specific switch, right? So I can um, filter these if I want. I can extend this over here. And then I'm going to be able to see now, now that I filtered, so the Aruba is on top, um, that is going to be plugged into 1010. And I could actually bump the PoE on the port, causing the access point to reboot itself. So if you've got a problem where this access point is just not responding for whatever reason, you can um, absolutely do that right from here. So I'm opening up the topology maps, which is again, a really nice feature to have here. So in the wireless device view, we're going to be able to see um, specifically the Aruba controller and see what access points are connected to it. So once I've got this view, then I can right click on any individual access point and say view physical topology and I can see what actually is the relationship um, from the wired network standpoint between that access point and its controller. So in this case, eh, not that, again, interesting because I've got an access point plugged into the same switch that I've got the Aruba 3600 plugged into. So I can get some information as far as the um, ports, the actual interfaces. So I can see it's plugged into gig uh, 103. I can look at the access point and say, look at that. It's plugged into gig 1010. You know, isn't that great? And then I've also got my traditional views where I can put this access point on top of a um, map and then do things like look at the clients and pull that client data. So now I have that view in here as well. And then look at the clients and say, hey, let's, what is this client actually doing? What's the username? Which SSID is it associated with? Which access point? What's the MAC address? Let's look at the client, client type. Um, I can tell the vendor ID here is Apple. So again, a lot of good information here and a lot of good um, management information that you otherwise wouldn't have. And that's all ready built into the WSM platform and the IMC platform and has been there for uh, probably about a year. But I know you know that because you read the release notes, right? So that's a quick tour of the Aruba support. And like I said, I'm, uh, I'm hoping to see that this gets better in the coming uh, future. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.